Hi everyone, this is Karen. Thanks so much for joining me. This is lesson 14 in my Sure Cuts A Lot lessons. In this lesson, I'm going to cover the gradient function, which is available in both the pro and the basic versions of Sure Cuts A Lot 4 for Mac or Windows. And I'm using version 4.063 today. I'm going to be mentioning these version numbers because they change quite often in Sure Cuts A Lot. If you're not sure where to go to get an update, I'm going to show you on the screen. So in your browser address bar, just type in the words Craft Edge to take you to the Craft Edge site. And you can click Downloads over here. And you're going to see a whole list of different downloads. And what you're interested in is Shortcuts A Lot 4 over here. And you either want the basic version for Windows or Mac or the pro version for Windows or Mac. And over here you see the latest version number. I'm going to click 4.063 for Mac Pro, which is right here. And what that does is it will show you all the release notes for the version number that you're looking at. For example, 4.063, um, there were some problems that were fixed. In 4.062, they added a SkyCut model and a firmware updater for Orbit, and then they fixed some problems as well and so on and so forth, and you can just scroll down and see. So to download the latest version, all you need to do is click the download button and then save it to your computer. What I do is I save all the versions that I download so that if I ever need to go back to an older version, I have it there that I can always install. And all I need to do is install the older version on top of what is already there, and it will just cha make that, that change for me. So back to shortcuts a lot. What I'm going to be showing you is the gradient function. First thing you need to do is create a shape. The icon for doing that is the one I'm pointing to right now on the screen. As you hold your mouse over it, draw a shape will be displayed so that you'll know what that icon is for. When you see a triangle next to the icon, it means that there are more choices. So all you need to do is press and hold your mouse button to display all the choices. And you can see now that there are all different types of shapes that you can create. All of these are fine for creating a gradient, except for the spiral, because that doesn't work. I'm going to choose rectangle, and then I'm going to draw out a rectangle shape on my screen, and you'll see that it's black. So to adjust my gradient, I'm going to click my selection arrow up in the top left, or the selection tool. My, my shape is now selected, and I'm going to come over to my palette icon on the far right side of the screen and I'll click that. To choose gradient, I need to change the fill settings here. So I'm going to click in the word color, and you can see that I can choose gradient. And when I do that, you now see that you've got a gradient on the screen. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do now. You can change the opacity, and what that does is it changes the intensity of the color. The less you choose, the more transparent your gradient will be, and the more you choose, the more opaque it will be. Opaque hides everything beneath it. Transparent lets things show through from the bottom. So if I adjust this way down to 13%, you're going to see that there's very little color in here now. There's just a little bit from the black left fading over to white. And as I increase this, you'll notice that the black increases the color increases, or the density of the color increases. The next thing I can do is I can click the actual gradient icon over here to display a whole bunch of choices. So the first choice that's interesting is the color, because you can change the color of your gradient. But if you just click on color, nothing happens. You need to click one of these triangles here. That displays white here, and if you click this one, it's going to display black. So notice that once you click the triangle, there's a little dashed line beneath it. So that means you can now change the color of this value. So when I click in color, now it displays my color wheel, and I can choose a different color. So I'm going to choose red for the dark color. And now what I can do is I can change how much red there is before it fades to white. You can see here that it's changed a lot. If I click OK, that's what's going to happen here in my rectangle. So if I go back to my gradient options, now if I click the white arrow, I can change this so that we have a really solid line between the two colors. 
But the other thing that I can do is I can change the color. You notice that there's a dash under the arrow. Now I can click my color and change that. So I'm going to change that to blue. And now you'll see that my gradient is, is going from red to blue. So I'm going to change the spacing, the position of my red arrow and the blue one. And now you see it goes from red to blue with purple in between, because if you mix red and blue, you get purple. So now when I click OK, this is the gradient that you get. So there's another thing that you can do. Once you've got this set up, maybe you decide, oh, that's not what you wanted. You wanted to go from blue to red. So all you need to do is click reverse. And now it goes from blue to red. And you can do that as much as you want until you have exactly what you want here. You can go from pink to red. You can go from pink to yellow. Whatever you like to do. So many choices available to you. So once you have what you like, you can add this as a preset. You can name it. So I'm going to name this pink to yellow linear because linear is in a straight line and that's the type of gradient I have selected right now. So I'll save that. Now that's saved forever. I can also make changes now, drag this over a bit, have more yellow, and I can add that as a new preset. The other thing I can do is I can change the type of preset from linear to radial so that now I've got a circle. And I'm going to show you how that affects my rectangle. You see now I've got a circular gradient in there. And if you use the circular shape, you could apply that in your circle. And that looks pretty cool. So while I'm in this screen, I'm just going to show you the presets screen so you can see that you're, there are a number of presets. I've created this red radial when I was doing my testing and my researching, and I just created this pink to yellow linear before. So I'm going to add this preset, and this is going to be my pink to yellow radial. So now I've got that as well. So I can go back to my settings and play with whatever I want to do here. So I'm going to cancel out of there. In addition to applying gradients to the basic shapes supplied with the Shortcuts a Lot program, you can also apply gradients to any of the shapes that you have in your library. For example, just choose any of the shapes here in the library. Go over to the, click the palette icon over here on the far right, and for the fill, choose gradient and a gradient will be applied. Also, if you bring in a shape, I'm going to import an SVG file. So let's just bring in an animal. Uh, I'm gonna bring in a deer shape, a deer head, and open that up. It's gonna look pretty funky, but it'll just show you that you can apply a gradient to this. So right now there's nothing applied. I'm going to apply a gradient to that. And you can see that we have a gradient here. So now, in this case, we would need to merge the parts of this so that you can see the cutouts here. And I'm going to go into the gradients to change the color so that it looks a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go 10 for this color. And for the dark color, I'm going to choose a chocolatey brown. If that's a brown, I don't think so. Let's see, let's go here and apply that. My shape wasn't selected, so I didn't apply the gradient. So I need to select my shape. I leave these kinds of mistakes in my videos because it shows you what it is that you did wrong, why it didn't work. My shape wasn't selected, so now if I click on the gradient icon again, and I come in here and I change my colors. This one was a beige. And I'm going to change this one to a brown color. And now when I click OK, it'll be fine. There it is. It doesn't show very much, so I can use this icon and change it up a bit. And that looks pretty cool. Okay, so now there's one last thing I can show you. And that is this icon over here on the far left, the gradient icon. When I click this, I can drag a line across my shape, and that changes how the gradient, how the gradient works. Where you start is where your starting color starts. So if I 
click, if I start the click over here, my pink will start in this area here and it will drag out to yellow over here. So that you can do that exactly as you want it. And the same thing happens if you're using a linear gradient. Go back to my options over here and I'm going to change this to linear. And so now I've got a linear gradient and if I click the gradient button and drag, you get some pretty interesting effects here too. And again, you can change the direction of your gradient, but it's a linear gradient now rather than a radial. You can see that you can create some really interesting effects with this gradient option. So I hope all of this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.